Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It's a blessing, it's an honor to be here tonight. I say Monday, Monday night time. It's an honor, it's a pleasure to come through our Facebook page with brothers and sisters on the other side. I do not know your name, from which country are you from, from where you connected with us, but it's an honor to come and to have this blessed and nice conversation with everyone. I am glad, I am blessed to have you here in the powerful name of Jesus. And tonight I have a special guest, special guest. He is one of my pastors. I say evangelist, bishop, sometimes I used to joke with Dan, but he's a man of God. Brother Desmond, he is a experienced man in God's words, in the ministry, and he is here tonight with us. Uh, let me come to this camera. Pastor Desmond, yes, welcome sir. to our program. It will be a pleasure, a nice talking, I, I may say, on behalf of our viewers. Welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor. It's a pleasure, and the Lord gets the honor and the glory all about God's work. Amen, amen. I would like to start asking... Uh, what can you say, uh, what do you say about the last Sunday service when we had uh, the message uh, talking about Lazarus and uh, what can you say? Yes, it was much inspiring because we know all the word in John and John 11. But what's inspiring is about the two ladies, Martha and uh, Mary. Mary, the one with the, the, the oil. It was very expensive, but it wasn't about the oil, it's about the heart. And what she do, she take her hair and she also washed the feet. But as Jesus was washing the feet of his disciples, so there's a meaning around that. And the important thing is, two things are very important. It takes two, two days for him before he decide to, because he already had his, as Lazarus was dying, he's already passed away. So it was four days. But the Lord is never late. And that means that uh, the two days is very much, that is what I pick up, the two days, the two double blessings that the Lord has in store for us. It's not about the time, it's about God's time. Yeah, we, we, we spoke uh, Sunday about, uh, we, we were sticking with those two days, né? because sometimes people, they think that God uh, is not looking after them, he doesn't care about them, and the people will be desperate, thinking on this way. But as you said, uh, God will never come late. Always he will come on time. Yes, I agree fully, because if you go deeper in the word, because times like this we need the Lord very much. And the Lord knows our desire, the Lord knows our heart, and the Lord knows exactly what each and every one of us, what giants we face. But at the end of the day, the Lord is the provider. The Lord is the one who makes the decisions. Amen. You know, there are many people now on Facebook uh, getting connected. People, can I ask you, please, brothers and sisters, the prayer warriors, please uh, invite your friends, colleagues, share this link with them. Just copy our link and forward to friends, colleagues, and invite them to join us. That will be a blessing to them as well. Okay, let's come now to John chapter 11. I, I would like everyone now to connect it uh, in the Bible with us in the book of John chapter 11, verse number 21. Listen to this, Desmond, what it say. Martha said to Jesus, Martha said to Jesus, Sir, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And even now, Jesus said, even now, uh, and even now it is too late, for I know that isn't too late, Jesus was saying. That's not late. No. She was complaining, if you would be here, my brother could be alive, not dead. Yeah. But Jesus said to her in the verse number 22, even now it is not too late. Always there is solution. 
So always God will make a way to help us to overcome whatever troubles it may be. Yes, I agree fully because as I said, what is significant is that, that you mustn't the Lord will stop complaining because of the about to sometimes we are too busy with our own stuff. Mm. And then we haven't got time to put the Lord first. Mm. Sometimes the Lord in the Holy Spirit is outside. But the Lord must be inside, he's number one. And if we trust What do Lord, you mean? It is important to whoever is watching us. Let me start at this point. What is the meaning when you say uh, putting the Lord inside and not outside. Can, could you please explain it, please? Okay, what I mean by that is, if we go to the word of the Lord, we will never fight our own battles because in this time we need the Lord very much. And it's, imp it's impossible for us to, to get a victory. But because we don't trust the Lord, we ask the Lord, but we don't still do our own things, our own plans. That's why Isaiah 55 said, my plans, you know, your plans. Mm. So that's what I mean by, if everyone listening now, is trust the Lord fully. And then you will see the hand of the Lord will come through. That's what I mean by, the Lord must be inside in the house, in your heart, in your house with your family. Mm. And then you, why I mean outside, you mustn't interfere, let the Lord do the work. Is what I'm talking about. Yes, because there are so many people that I understood what you said. They are interfering. They are not giving God fully permission yeah. to deal with husband, wives, children. Yes. So don't interfere. Allow God to do his job. It just doesn't matter that it looks like it's taking long, like days, weeks, months. Yeah. But God knows the right time to come to save, to promote, to give a job, to open doors, to change situations. He knows. And then the scriptures say, going to the next verse, uh, even now it's not too late, for I know, Jesus was saying, that God will bring my brother back to life again. If you only ask God for. So there are many people now connected with us. We are about to pray tonight on Facebook. Yes. And come on, come on, keep on liking our page. Keep on sending the link to friends, colleagues, inviting everyone. Please, please, please. We say a sublif, ne? A sublif family. Keep on sending the link to everyone because we will do a strong prayer tonight in the powerful name of Jesus. Yes. And then here down the line say that Jesus was speaking and say, believe me, my brother will come back to life. We say tonight, your marriage will come back to life. Your, 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 your company will come back to life. What we are meaning by that? that God can restore yes. whatever is dead. He can bring the resurrection and he can bring life. If you say the doctor diagnosed me as a sick person, the doctor said one of my organs are not working properly. Mm -hmm. God can make it to work properly. This is what we believe. Yes, I believe because uh, the, the, and another thing is to, to build the, the altar, mm. to present your family on the altar. Whatever company, whatever anyone going through at this moment, just remember if you go to the, to the Old Testament, you will see King David, he didn't do anything without consulting God. Mm. He would also ask God the time to go and then he was to fight the yes, enemy. And sometimes without even fighting, victory was already this. It yes, because he was consulting God, he was going asking the Lord for directions and God came through to bring the blessing. And yes. I want to tell you before we pray, I'm going to ask this gentleman. He is my elder in church. He do respect me as a pastor, but I do respect this man as my elder in Amen. church. I'm going to ask this man to do a, a prayer this evening to bless us in Jesus Christ's name. But I want to tell you tonight, listen to me. Let God revive your faith. Let God lift you up. Let God tonight through the Holy Spirit convince you that 
everything that looks like is dead will come back to life. I prophesy tonight and I say tonight to every eater person that are bees, is bees now watching us. The group may be bees at home, two people, three people, four people watching us. There is solution and the Lord God is with you to give you the blessings and the victories in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, Amen. let's pray. Let's do a prayer and feel free to pray according to God's direction. The Lord God will direct you to pray, yeah. but let's pray now in a such way that God's fire will come down. Yes. Heavenly Father, I present our people. Yes, Lord, Father. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, the word is spoken. Yes. But Lord, every giant we face, yes. you promise us. Yes, Lord. No evil will haunt us. Yes, Father. No error will touch us, my Lord. Yes, Father. And you will fight our battles. Yes, Lord. And we agree in faith. Yes, Jesus. And I pray for our people. Yes, Lord. We need you a lot, my Lord. Yes, Father. And we must put your trust in you. Yes. And Lord, we rebuke the evil spirit. We got to fight against the evil spirit of the universe. Yes, yes. But we knew, my Lord, yes, that yes, you are the one who yes, already yes. defeated the evil one. Yes. The yes, keys yes. was thrown away. Yes. Now in faith we join my mm. pastor, son, yes. and myself. Yes. And we agree yes, Father. that the victory is already ours. In the name of Jesus. And we must accept. What was taken from us, yes. we claim it back. In the name of Jesus. The, the stone was rolled away from yes. Lazarus. Yes. Life was there. Yes, Father. So it's time that we pray life over ourselves. In the name of Not Jesus. Not negative, but positive. Yes, Father. Because we must stop complaining. Yes. Jesus. And we must trust you of each and everything. Yes. We must have a strong prayer. Yes, Father. Because the devil is sudden when he heard about the strong, powerful yes, friend. Yes, Father. Yes, and you know, the Holy Spirit is the one who guides us. Yes, Jesus. And Every obstacle, what will be wrong the name of for the jobs, yes. for, open, for the companies who are struggling? Yes, Jesus. in faith we say, yes. Lord, you will come through. Yes, there's Lord. families who need a job. Yes, Father. bless their income. Yes, let them be prosperous. Pray the over the schools. Jesus, Pray over the communities. Yes. Pray even over the outreach that yes, we are busy Father. to do for the community. Yes, Lord. Because you know there's a lot of households who in must the be name feed. Of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I say thank you for the grace upon all of us. Pray for the ministry. Yes. Help us and guide us. Yes, Lord. Because we are the servant. Yes. And you are the almighty God. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We say thank you, Lord. Yes. And we seal this yes, prayer. Lord. Because the devil could now hold. Yes. And I say amen. In the amen. mighty name of Jesus, Father, is standing in agreement with your servant. Father, we come tonight through our Facebook page. And we know, Lord, that there are people watching us on the other side and we are trusting you we are believing you and we know lord god that something is happening right away as we are praying as we are standing together father we pray tonight and we ask you let your fire come down let your anoint lord come down let your grace lord come down tonight to bless us in the mighty name of jesus father we declare blessings over every eighty person right now my brother my sister right now pray for your breakthrough I say now open your mouth wherever you are and declaim now your blessings and your victories and declare in the name of Jesus father we pray and we declare the blessings the power the anointing for your glory in Jesus Christ's name and everyone shall say amen amen amen, amen. amen. well we are blessed to be here it was an honor having you here man of God uh, tonight with me and I would like to invite our viewers our friends to join us and to be with us could you please tell them maybe there are people now in um, Western Cape right now in Cape Town in one of these suburbs they want to, to uh, find a church to praise and worship God where is our church located even uh, you can talk in Afrikaans yeah, feel free okay. Our church is the Christ of God church. It's in 216 Voortrekke. We are going to Perro. You must give direction. Where is the church? Okay, the church <laughs> is in Perro, Voortrekke Way, 216. 216. Yes, opposite Spa. Yes. You can't yes. miss it. Yes, every Wednesday, Friday. Uh, every uh, 
every Wednesday and Friday 10 and 5 and then Sundays 8 10 and 4 yes but on Wednesday, a daily basis everyone is more than welcome yes, to come open. for counseling eh? yes especially this big man here he's is available to give counselings to talk to bless you to help you to keep on moving forward in the presence of the most high god yes amen amen thank you then thank it you. was a pleasure, pleasure. having you here and uh, by us tonight and we will be back uh we will be back on wednesday on wednesday 9 p.m wednesday 9 p.m will be a pleasure to have you all again allowing us to come to you in jesus name thank you pastor desmond thank you sir may god bless you yes thank you friends thank you keep on sharing the live stream allowing others to watch this message and to receive the blessing as well bye bye, bye see bye. you bye bye bye